with the door boudoir photography and you're getting ready for your boudoir portrait experience don't be nervous i know that's silly to say but don't be nervous this is going to be a lot of fun and i'm here to give you an overview of getting ready so the first thing to remember is make sure that your lingerie fits try everything on look in the mirror forward backward move around make sure it fits there's no big gaps it doesn't dig into your skin if you look good if you feel good you're gonna look good in your lingerie i want that confidence and beauty to show through so if there's gaps or pinching it's you're gonna feel uncomfortable and it's gonna show through try everything on before you get here first big tip we're going to use angles and lighting to make you look fabulous, but having lingerie that really fits you well is going to help you a lot. Second tip, remove the tags. Not just that tag that has the price on it, but the little fabric tags that have the size and the care instructions. Nothing ruins that perfect booty shot than that big tag hanging down the middle. Snip it out. Close to, the, close to the fabric, just take a little scissor and just snip that right out before you even get here. You know what size it is, so you don't need that anymore, okay? Uh, bring your personality, come have fun. It's just gonna be us and the makeup artist. Um, we're just gonna have a good time. Don't worry about anything. We'll do a little champagne, a little mimosa. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna dance, we're gonna be silly. Um, we're gonna make beautiful artwork of you. You're gonna absolutely love it. After the first couple snaps, you are going to be loving it and not gonna to wanna to stop. So let your personality shine through. Um, so what? If there's pictures that look silly or that you don't like, so what? We delete them after you see them. Have a good time. Let your personality show through. I'm gonna help you with that a lot, but don't be afraid. I've seen everything. I've heard everything. We're just gonna have a good time. Um, pay attention to the details. Fingernails. A great manicure, beautiful fingers and toes are great, but it doesn't have to be all that. Just make sure you don't have chip nail polish and your nails aren't all different lengths. Um, just kind of remove the nail polish and make sure all your nails are filed. You will have pictures with your hands, especially if you're a bride or you're married and you have that beautiful ring. We're going to want to show that off in your pictures. So just make sure everything's neat and clean. Um, no gray roots, no dark roots if that's not what you're going for. Do your hair dye at least a week or two before, um, a, a new haircut at least a week or two before so that your hair looks fresh and the color is good. Um, paying to have the, all your roots touched up is going to be expensive. Photoshop takes a lot of time and I do have to charge for that. Um, waxing, make sure you get that done at least a few days beforehand so that the redness can die down and you don't look puffy um, and that you don't have ingrown hairs. So you don't want to do it too far in advance. If you're going to do a facial, make sure that's at least a few days in advance so that your skin isn't red or puffy. I'm going to send lots more emails to help you get ready, but if you have any questions, just reach out and I'd be happy to answer them. I can't wait to photograph you. Have a great day.